the first things I actually worked on a first semi-major production uh, back in 2006, uh, 48 Hours, our producer, who had actually put it all together pretty much, she got really drunk on that set, and actually mm. we ended up having to send her away, sort of. Um, we, uh, or no, she, I think she just, I don't know if someone took her home, but we were, we were out down there in San Diego, and actually that was the first time I met both Missy and Tran. They were both on that set. Interesting. Yeah, that's that's a fact. With I know those people. We do know those people. They're they're loose parts of the collective too. They're kind of trans a loose mother. <laughs> <laughs> so um. He's so loose. He's so loose. Well, he's been around, so. Yeah, he gave me the clap. <laughs> watch Pony Power. He gave me the yeah, clap. Yeah, watch Pony one. Power. Watch the making of Pony Power. Yeah, making of Pony Power. And um, so that was that was one. Yeah, that was in the producer. I think she felt like. I won't state her name, but she, uh, once we got down there, she she had put the whole thing together. Hey, Richard, Richard. I state her name. I will not state her name. <laughs> um, <laughs> she, uh, she had put the whole thing together, so she was doing her job as a producer, but on a 48-hour shoot, I mean, once things kind of get going, you just let them go, and she was there, and she didn't really know what she was doing, so she thought it would be a good idea to start drinking. Drinking what? Well, for what reason? What's she drinking? Um, I don't, she was just bored. Really? And she's like, there's nothing for me to do. I feel useless. So she went and bought a bottle, and she drank a good chunk of it. And That's pretty terrible. Yeah, and she eventually, at some point, she became kind of a... Um, I don't to be the word. She was uh, distracting, to say the least. And, like, anytime she would, like, people would pass her... Because we were shooting um, around this hotel area, and we were staying in the hotel... Um, not that we slept much, but if, if people wanted to sleep, there were hotels available. So we had two rooms and I know one of them kind of come down and would see her from time to time. Cause I was technically co-directing, but I was doing most actual directing, I think. And, uh, she would just kind of, she got in an argument with one of the other producers and, you know, she was cool with me, but I was trying to tell her just like, what are you doing, dude? And she was pretty belligerent by that time. And she probably hadn't slept much by then either because it's probably early in the morning at this point so that was that was a bad uh that was another drunk story i have, I have other drunk stories hey, Just, hey john yes mike do you want to beguile us with uh compliant mark no mike do it so there's this film i i barely remember that day really i just remember burning a dv in a car Okay, I'll I'll try and tell going, the story of Blight Mark. Going so fast toward the finish line. Towards Hollywood. It was five minutes, man. There was traffic. There was five minutes. It would have been on time. Five minutes. Compliant Mark was a uh, it, it was a film that several collective members before there was a collective made for a twelve hour uh, challenge thing. Twelve was, hours. It was from yeah, twelve hour, twelve hours. From uh, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. And uh, we shot on a dam. I was I was the compliant Mark. John was the cameraman. Uh, Arash was the buyer. He was. The vet was the seller. We we all had names in the in the credits. But um, this is true. Uh, but like right 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 around like dinner for like several hours, we just sort of sacked out in a vet's apartment and ate like Taco Bell and just felt terrible and really sleepy and didn't do much because we were like logging um logging footage but anyways like the final two hours come we finally have something put together but we have to burn the DVD in a laptop in the car which the adapter we ended up like catch it ended up catching on fire <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and uh no, no 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 see we burned it the adapter was working fine but then we started up the car and all this smoke comes out of the adapter like fucking crazy. That, that's right. So I'm like, shut off the car, shut off the car. We shut off the car. I pull the adapter out. I jump out of the car. I do a roll on the ground. And I chuck it toward this hippie artist fucking community. Yeah, that's and right. And it hits the roof. <laughs> and uh, it explodes. I felt like a real honest-to-goodness Republican commando right then. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Did some of that actually happen? <laughs> yeah, it did, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I threw wow. it at the hippie artist community because I hate hippies more than uh, I hate Brea. And then we had to, like, sign all the uh, release forms in the car on the way up. 
And there were like two really big accidents, so we got there late and we didn't get it in on time. So, compliant mark, if if we ever get it, we'll put it on a collective DVD. Yeah. <laughs> because it, it's probably the first thing we all did together, right? Well, I wasn't Mo there. But... Well, most of us, yeah, you don't count. Most of us, right, John? Richard was there in spirit. I mean, even Marie was involved on that until she went home. Oh, she got tired. And then Giselle was also there, but she kind of went home at some point, too. No. Was she? Yeah. No. She, she was there with us at the dam. I think. She was there with us for shooting, and then she, like, went home after that. Are you making stuff up? No, Giselle was there. Were you there? I guess. <laughs> I was there. I, I think I took a picture of, uh, of his sweaty armpits there. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, that's a hot picture. Yeah, it is. How much time have we used to work? About a half an hour. Uh, 17... About 13 minutes. Good, you got we'll two cut shows. cut all this out. Do we need to... we we'll continue this later, or do we just end this? What? I mean, we want to try and cut these down to 10 minutes each. Is that how long a podcast is? No, That's but... how long a YouTube uh, <laughs> upload is. But we can just cut pieces out for the YouTube. Like, the YouTube can be a shorter version. What's a YouTube? tube Should we tell another story or two? Did you have another story or two? There's always cons and fail stories. All right, tell a story. Okay, anyhow. Um, tell me another. Well, let's think of another fail story. Should I talk about Bruce Violet? That's I, a pretty long fail story. That wasn't even a school project. That's true. Richard. Let's talk about... I don't know if I want to talk about plastic. That's not a total failure yet. We what haven't even talked about the big ones. What big ones? The big ones would be plastic and Fidel Y. Fidel Y hasn't failed. It's simply not done. We will win in the end. Well, it's the same thing with plastic then. See, they're not failures until I tell them they are. The only the the only thing that I have done that's ever been finished, I think, is uh, Black Lie. Yeah. But it, okay, we'll talk about. A Black Lie was sort of a, a failure in itself. What the hell? That wasn't really a failure. Well, that's it true. got done. We're <laughs> done, so. It fun. got done. I was producer, so it was awesome. And the black guy was. You spent, uh, you, you spent the entire shoot sitting outside, uh, sleeping. I think. Mm -mm. I was recalculating the budget. No. Constantly, I was like, "What if we did this? What if we did this? What if I bought a shirt?" And then I was like, "Let's invest in fail, failure, and we will make money this way." And uh, we would have been under budget. Is there any way to make money on a film two project? Yes, there is. How? You get sponsorship, and you keep all the money that your sponsors give you, and you blow the school's money. Damn, we need to do that. That's clever. Um, See? And then, you made um, money. So, yeah, actually, Black Lie is the only the only credit I have on IMDb. Me too. Yeah. Me too. So, there's there's a win there. Um, actually, it, was a, it, was a, it was a fail for my door, though, or for my window. Why? Remember when I showed up on set of Black Lie once in my... Uh, and my window rolled down and it wouldn't roll back up. I fixed his window because I have superior skills. Me and, uh... Not only am I a producer, I'm a uh, fix-it sort of guy, too. Me and John, um, took out, took apart my door and had to try and prop up my window. It was in the harbor. There were, like, crabs everywhere. That's right. It was in the harbor. Oh, yeah, a crab walked through the door. You guys think I'm crazy, but most of the time I'm correct. Like, crazy. Like a fox. Yeah. So, like a um, fox with rabies. So yeah, do we? Uh, if we don't have any more stories, we should end it. You're saying we should kill ourselves? Yeah. All right. So that's a uh, fail <laughs> cast for this episode. Um, we're gonna go kill ourselves now. That's a cool sound. Do it again. Yeah. Well, no. Do it and let it burn for like a few seconds. All right. We ended on that. <laughs> All right, so that's two. That's good. And that is all for this installment of Failcast, brought to you by The Collective. Next time, prepare to take the good with the evil.